when the grapes are ready to pick, there's not a moment to lose. For boutique winemaker Hiro Kusuda, these few days are critical, as his vineyard heads into vintage in changeable weather. Pick too soon and the wine could be green. Too late, a loss of fruitiness. And if it rains, a loss of flavor. So the race to pick the vines has begun, and this group of young wine enthusiasts are beginning with a lesson on the intricacies of making a world award-winning wine. Most of the time, I mean, weather occupies my head. Yeah, it's, it's probably the most stressful time. And, uh, but if I finish picking and if those grapes are sitting in, in the tank, probably that's the first relief, maybe after you know, start working in the winter and you know, pruning in the vineyard. Work and a holiday are one and the same for Hiro's friends and family, who make their way from Tokyo to New Zealand each year, all in the true spirit of harvest. As we can feel the part of the wine, we help and we look forward to see, uh, taste the vintage 2009. It's not, not only the physical work, but also, I mean, their attitude. I would probably say, um, you know, they, 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 they all share my, my passion, I also love to wine, and they all understand what I, I want to do, uh, what I want to achieve. Everybody has got the same aim of making good wine. And making good wine is what Hiro has done best since 2001, after following his nose to the Wairarapa, a region famous for its huge variations in night and day temperatures which for winemakers means the best Pinot Noir. The, those cold temperatures during night or into the morning would preserve a, uh, all the flavors. And also it, 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 it sort of put, put a break on, 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 on plants. So if, if they keep working during night, if it's warm, then they, they just, during night, they, they lose so many things, you know, energy and flavor. Um. It's freezing cold this morning in Martinbro, the icy winds blowing off the mountain. But when you know that the secret of good wine lies in this labor of love, it doesn't really matter. After harvesting 4.5 tons, the grapes are sorted meticulously by hand, a ritual essential for such world-class wine. We are taking all those, well, uh, unwanted berries or even bunches just out and um, some are, you know, damaged by wind or birds or insects or just, just try trying to, to make better wine. We say, you know, Japanese have sort of very sort of, uh, sort of hands suit for this kind of very precise jobs. And also sort of, you need a patience. The grapes are crushed by Hiro himself and then left to ferment. Hiro finds it vital to be involved every step of the way, all the way until the result of his effort is on the shelves in two years' time. To be a good winemaker, I think you need a um, good nose. Uh, I mean, you also need a sophisticated tongue, but so I think nose is more important. And then just commitment. From being a suit-clad diplomat 10 years ago, Hiro embraced the outdoors and traded the briefcase for the barrel. The result, Pinot Noir that won him gold at the London International Wine Challenge last year. And at $65 a bottle, his wine may be precious, but worth every cent. Absolutely, it's justified to, to sell a bottle of wine for $65. As a winemaker myself, I know how difficult the job is, and particularly when you're paying meticulous attention to detail and, and you work in a region like Martinborough where crops can be quite low um, and your returns are very difficult to come by. Uh, and then your finished product does stand on a world class. Um, $65 is very well justified and you're selling a great experience for $65, it's good value. While Martinborough remains home to some big players in the wine industry, for Hero, small suits him just fine. I have no intention of becoming big. Growth is not on my agenda. Just, just what, you know, 
to do what I want to do. And also, if you become big, then you become just manager. And this is something I don't know. This lifestyle was just, just you know, every day, sort of walking, you know, watching with nature. That's that's good. For Hiro, his dream has flourished in the fruits of the Wairarapa, 